with the Cougars, your update on the arts around downtown Charleston and the campus. This week, with help from my friend Sarah, she interviewed Peter Spearman about his free concert series called Pop Up Charleston. I also interviewed local artist Joe Southers because he's played at two of the shows. Here with Peter Spearman from Pop Up Charleston. So tell me about yourself. Let's see, I'm a senior from Charleston and I'm a double major in English and theater performance. And what exactly is Pop Up Charleston? Pop Up Charleston is our attempt at reviving a house show community in Charleston that was here like 10 years ago. At least what I've heard, I don't know, I was in like middle school then, so I don't know. But um, we're trying to do house shows and pop up shows, and uh, the idea of it is, is that anywhere can be a venue. Anything can be turned into a space where we kind of, kind of gather as a community and enjoy an artist's work. And what inspired you to restart? Um, I guess it kind of, it came out of, we had a friend uh, who goes to Belmont named Liza Ann who was going to do a house show tour and she needed a place in Charleston to play and I was like, we used to live behind fire um, in Kepsco Alley and I was like, we got this really cool outdoor space, so let's use it. Um, and we had one, like it was our last semester there and so we were like, let's just make the most of it. And so we did and, and so people were like, well we really want to keep doing these. And then we have like we have this really great artist community in Charleston and in kind of the southeast. Um, so it kind of came out of a need for a place for them to perform that wasn't charging them a lot, or taking a cut. And how do you find all these artists to come? Um, most of the time, they contact us. Um, we, we kind of have our name out there now. Um, and where can we find info on any future shows? Um, the best way to find us is actually on Facebook, uh, just like the Pop-Up Charleston page. Um, that's where we have all our events. Um, we actually post all the pictures there. We have a website um, that we're kind of working on. We're working on a couple of things with it. Pop-Up Charleston on Facebook, that's where we get to us. You took the time to think Every once in a while How'd you get involved with Pop-Up Charleston? Um, I've known Peter for uh, several years now. Um, and he used to live in this place uh, behind fire and there was like an alley there. And uh, one day he just had this idea where he wanted to have like shows there. And they were just called like Kevsco Alley House Shows because the alley had a gate that says Kevsco on it. And um, yeah, he asked me to play the first one and I did and it was a lot of fun and then he had like more and more of them and it turned out to be like a pretty good success and um, then when they moved out of that apartment they moved uh, to this place that they call it like house and that's a uh, that's where they're starting the pop-up shows but I think um, they're looking to branch out a bit more because the whole idea behind pop-up Charleston is to just have shows kind of like anywhere like it could be at a house or it can be like outside somewhere just sort of anywhere in Charleston because they're trying to sort of jumpstart like the, the original music scene. Thanks so much for talking to us. No problem. For more information on Pop Up Charleston, make sure to like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. I'm Taylor Yale and this was Keeping Up with the Cougars. See you next time!